Welcome to the story of how Republic Services took the waste out of waste removal. It all begins right here. The first step is easy. Republic customers simply sort their waste materials into either the wet bin or the dry bin. The wet bin is for organic materials, like food, yard waste, and wood. Everything else goes in the dry bin. Soon, one of the Republic Services signature blue trucks will be by to pick up the bins. Powered by compressed natural gas, even the trucks are working hard to reduce waste. With over 650 trucks on the road nationwide and 60 in San Jose alone, that's no small thing. Now, it's off to Newby Island Resource Recovery Park. Newby Island is the world's largest and most advanced waste processing and recycling center. Here, four custom design lines enable Newby Island to handle four different material streams simultaneously. From the residential single stream line and the dedicated wet line for food and organics, to the dry waste line and the commercial single stream line. In all, these lines are able to sort over 100 tons of material per hour with outstanding efficiency and accuracy. Taking a different path from the dry lines, the wet line sorts the organic materials before sending them out to Republic's partner, Zero Waste Energy. There, they'll be put through a dry fermentation digestion process, ultimately becoming either clean renewable energy or nutrient-rich certified organic compost. All in all, Newby Island processes more than 400,000 tons of food, recyclables, and commercial waste each year. Meanwhile, advanced design and technologies enable the recovery of many materials that usually get thrown away, like wood, plastic film, carpet, and organics. Metering bins ensure a steady, efficient flow to individual systems designed to recognize and sort specific materials like fiber, glass, iron, aluminum, and mixed plastics. Newby Island utilizes much of the same technology found in the aerospace industry. Each year, the Newby Island Resource Recovery Park recovers more than 240 million aluminum cans and over 15,500 tons of plastic. That's enough saved energy to power almost 7,000 homes per year from aluminum and plastic alone. At the end of the day, innovative design and a dedication to improving the way we manage waste and recover resources enabled us to divert more than 80% of the recoverable material on commercial lines and 95% on the residential line away from landfills. Which is proof that we aren't just reducing, reusing and recycling. We're also redefining how we look at waste.